So, let's play a game of Spot the Difference. Have a look at these two values. What is different about them? At first glance, you probably think, well, they're exactly the same. Hello world and hello world. But when we do an equality test using this formula, it returns false. You're probably thinking, ah, okay. It's, it's probably a trading space. Let's do another check, shall we? Let's return the length of these values using len. Ah, there is an extra character, and it looks like it's at the end of value A. So let's remove that and confirm the formula, and the values should be the same length. And they are. But hang on a minute, it's still returning false. I bet you're thinking, what on earth is going on? Let me tell you what the problem is. The innocent space that separates the two words may look identical, but they are not at least not in Unicode terms. Now, Unicode is a universal encoding standard that has a unique value assigned to every character you can possibly think of. And believe it or not, there are over 20 types of spaces in Unicode, which mainly differ by width, although evidently not in this case. So let's construct a formula that checks the Unicode number of each space. Starting with the Unicode function, we can nest mid and specify our range, putting a start number of 6 because the space is the 6th character, and then a 1 to extract only that character. The numbers are different, 32 and 160. Now you know why these two cells are not equal. You can simply copy the space you do want and paste it in the other to return a true value, proving they are now equal. So you typically encounter this problem if you copy and paste something from the web, and it's worth being aware of when you're cleaning and transforming your data because it can mess up your analysis in a very sneaky way. And the final message is, just because data looks identical, it doesn't mean it is.